Ready. I lost them there. You see them anywhere? Oh, they're low. See them over the water? Back there? Here they come. Watching these spoon bills, some teal will come or something. Here they come. See them on my side? calls from Ethiopia uh -huh. <laughs> on the, during the duck hunt. Uh -huh. Maybe it's your long lost cousin. Yeah. Alright, here we are this morning. We got Mr. Ranger who moving around a little too much maybe today. Yeah, there is blonde right there. A pretty good spread. Mm -hmm. Mr. Matthew, dead eye. <laughs> Me and Ranger here this morning, we're done at 6.20. Start hunting at 6.17. Done at 6.20. Six teal, green wings. Mr. Ranger's ready to keep hunting. But that's it. Check us out at Hunt, Fish, and Dine. some sort of all-purpose seasoning like a Tony Sastry's this. I like to use McCormick season all. Make sure you use garlic powder or garlic fresh garlic. When you use cooking ducks you want to use garlic. The more garlic the better. Alright, season the inside with a cavity. Give some flavor to the gravy inside. Garlic powder. All right, so I've got some olive oil or some sort of oil in my pot, and I've got some lean pears, Louisiana hot sauce, and I like to put a little tiger sauce in there. Got my brined ducks that I soaked in salt and vinegar a little bit today after I killed them this morning. Actually, these are ducks from yesterday. And they're all green wing teal and one pintail and giblets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brown them in this, I'm gonna let this oil get hot and then I'm gonna brown them down, meaning that I'm gonna fry them lightly and turn it over and to, just to put some color on it. There you go. All right, so I've added a little water, a little water to kind of stop it from frying a little bit. I've added my giblets, and I'm just gonna kind of cook this down until the water evaporates and start frying again. And that's gonna, see how that gravy is getting down in there at the bottom of that? That's why I wanna do it like this. Makes my dark gravy out of it and add it in. Starting to burn pretty good. I'm probably going to finish them out. I wouldn't just put out a big bit. Right. See how they're brown? That's good enough. I'm going to preheat my oven to 450 and I'm, I'm going to put my vegetables in. 
and let it cook down. Turn my heat up just for a minute. Once again, that's celery, onion, bell pepper, and garlic. I'm gonna add a little lean pans just for flavor. About a tablespoon or two. No measurement. Some Louisiana hot sauce, salty, and some spice. A little tiger sauce, I like to put a little tiger sauce. Just a little bit in there. vegetables down and I have some pre-made chicken stock. You can use uh, chicken stock that you buy, chicken broth. And this is some fresh chicken stock that we just made. And that's gonna give it the richness that it needs. I'm gonna put this in the oven at 450 for about an hour. What you wanna do is you wanna put the, the liquid about halfway up the birds in the pot or turn them over and let them just steep. You don't want them to dry out. 